How do you scale, guys? Nexus here. Welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, boys, you can already guess that we're going in with another 30th anniversary weapon. This time, it is kind of on the paid side of things, so you are a free-to-play player. You won't be able to obtain this until you obviously pay for the uh, dungeon of the 30th anniversary, which is the Grasp of Avarice, because the weapon we're looking at today is going to be probably one of the most synonymous. This, I, I honestly think, is one of the most well-known shotguns from D1, and it is going to be the Matador 64. If you guys don't know, in D1, there was also a shotgun meta when everyone used to just run around with shotties because shotties were broken. The Matador 64, though, was one of the ones that used to just mop people. It was insane. But there is also the Party Crusher plus one, which I honestly hated more than the Matador. I got killed by the Party Crusher way more than the Matador. But the Matador was, as I said, one of the best shotguns, if not the best shotgun in the D1 as a legendary weapon anyway. Used to pair super well with pretty much every single weapon. So any sort of freaking IS Luna was obviously one. Any exotic Hawkman Tor and all them sorts of jazz. Matador 64 was just a trusty steed you could use. And as I said, this is dropping from the Grasp of Avarice Dungeon, which we will be able to farm once they fix and everything. Tuesday reset, we also get more rolls. But rolls-wise, what I did get was, of course, smooth bore. Because as I said, if I do a shotgun review, it's going to have smooth bore on it. I Legit, every roll I got has this freaking perk. Or I'm going to use full choke, which of course I'm going to go for that. When we got tactical mag and acroized round, so this weapon can fire longer distances, increase range, always goaded on a shotty. We got one of the new perks that were introduced for this uh, event and everything. So the Perpetual Motion. This weapon gains bonus stability handling and reload speed when the wielder is in motion. Which is obviously really good for a shotty because you're never standing still with a shotgun. You are aping like hell, boys. And last but not least, we're going to have the Daddy Trade. Which hitting an enemy with every pellet in a shot increases melee damage for a short duration. Which is, of course is the trait 1-2 Punch. 1-2 Punch, honestly, is really, really good. Obviously more PvE, but it can actually work PvP. If you're coming up against super roaming supers, if they're not fast enough, you can bop them so freaking fast. You will see on the screen now all the other types of rows you can get. You can see there probably is a couple of better daddy perks instead of obviously the one two punch for PvP anyway. PvE though, this should be really sweet, but PvP. Definitely one-two punch could get replaced by the opening shot. Realistically, harmony as well. Even swashbuckler could be really good. But honestly, in this middle three, perpetual motion or even threat detector, they're probably going to be your two best ones. Tunnel vision, not so much. Left from gold and all in full auto and stuff. They're really not going to be your best ones. Honestly, perpetual motion, this could be super dope because it increases that stability while you're running, which is everything as well. Especially when I'm going to be running full choke too, that my titans my spread. I should be able to get this one-two punch going pretty consistently if I actually hit my shots properly. This thing should be goaded. I mean, if it's going to be anything like this D1 version, oh baby, we are in for a treat. We'll try out some PvP and we will do some PvE with this one as well because it's a shoddy with some solid, solid PvE rolls. So without further ado, let's go into PvP with the Matador 64. Alrighty, so we're going to be on the freaking anomaly. I have Bungie actually given me a map that caters to the weapon I'm using. This is the first, boys. I, I, I don't think this has ever freaking happened before. But we're going to be on our Titania. I never even mentioned that. We're going to be on Arctite. And of course, going to slide into all these DMs. Oh, he's never going to know. Oh, bro, bro. <laughs> good start, good start. I did an ADS, so I didn't get the freaking full choke to go in. But you can see we did half damage there. And so this is precision frame. So it's not always going to be the exact one tap you get with a fell winters, but it will do some juicy damage. Like it realistically will one tap on most occasions when you do uh, shoot properly or whatever. But there will be times where you do hit them halfway. But with the perpetual motion, everything by two. What the? We just keep going. We just keep going. We just keep going. We keep going. We keep going. Okay, can this guy die? What the? Hey, bro. Bro. Oh, uh, uh, here comes the trade central. Oh my god. How did I kill him with the first shot? That's the full joke. I didn't get the precision damage in. Oh, I'm getting screwed over by both my abilities right now. But you know what? All good, boys. All good. We'll get a free freaking kill now, right? Right, 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 right. Oh my god, why are you all there? What? Oh, I just nailed myself. Why the hell are you all just, you know, shitty dicking on the freaking flag right there, huh? Give me this kill. Oh god, no. There's the kill. Did I? I think I had the one-two punch going. Because that guy just got one tapped. Oh my god. So yeah, with the uh, with the full choke, the freaking perpetual motion and stuff, I should be able to one tap some people in there. This guy's got to run at me. You've shot him, bro. You've shot him. You've shot him. Bro. Young man, get your ass back here. Wait. Bro, get your ass back here. Oh my god. But I am using bottom tree uh, titan, so I have full choke. Oh, I've got freaking knockout, and I also have one two points. So you can imagine the damage after I kill one guy. I just pump him. He is just going to get freaking deleted by the next shot or the next punch I have. So, realistically, we got to go in and there's the kill. And I didn't get the one-two. But as a PvE or PvP, it's always going to be a hard part to get the uh, one-two punch going and everything. That's where uh, 
where I'm going to struggle the most, but with this perpetual motion, I just have to keep on running. Keep on running. And running and running. I just punch up to get the chain going. But yeah, we're on a Titan Ape, and boys, you all know what it is. You all know what it freaking is. Where the hell did this guy go? What the hell? Oh, my God. Matador 64. Yep, we're back to D1, baby. Everyone is trading with a Matador 64. I can't get a kill streak going to save the life of me, but in fairness, I am legit just running balls deep into the spawn. Like, true windows, true walls. Balls deep into their spawn. I gotta say, though, you can see it is gonna be a sweet shotgun and everything. I mean, it does absolute damage. Like, I mean, look at that. It just gets absolutely deleted. It's just, generally speaking, precision frames. They can absolutely wreck if you... Like, look at that. They can absolutely wreck if you get the full choke and everything going with them or the damage and stuff. They're just, uh, I wouldn't say niche. Oh, bro. What? Where is my melee going? What game? Oh, we are stumped from these, but game, you are screwing me over right now. But if you use them to the right engagement and stuff like that, like you can see, if you get the aim and everything in, you can just absolutely... Fair Winters is still, obviously, a king in terms of one-tapping potential and stuff like that. It's just because it's stupid shot package work, but... That's like basically a pinnacle. That's the way I kind of see it. How we get that guy. I am balls deep in a spawn. We got two. <laughs> it's just the archetype and just absolutely slays and stuff like that. You can see. You can get him. As I said, you can, you can realistically see that the one-two punch, it's very, very freaking hard to proc. I mean, I procced it, what, once? Twice, maybe. I don't know when I procced it, but you basically never really get to proc PvP. That's why some people don't like to use it. But as I said, if there's a freaking fist to have it coming at you, and you get to proc it in this instant melee. Sounds I'm telling you right now, it is a godsend. But there is the gang complete. Where is another one? Because that was a freaking annihilation again. Alrighty, so this time we're going to be on the rusted lands. I'm, we're bringing it back, boys. To T1 all over again. T1 maps, I mean, there's more freaking probably D1 maps than there's D2 maps. Well, that's a different Anybody conversation altogether. But we're going to with a Matador again. I never even went over looks. It actually does look so freaking nice. It looks exactly like it did. Party Crusher, I said... That was more of my jam. Prior to crash back if you want, but the Matador wasn't bad either. And I will say that this uh, this weapon, it can absolutely wreck out. You can already see that. It actually does pretty well. And this guy has no idea what freaking fresh hell is coming upon him. <laughs> oh, he says he's like, what the hell? Oh, he just gets shot at me. And he actually beat me with the fell one. It's kind of damn it. But this, uh, we're doing another game because that last anomaly game was literally annihilation. That game was just... Uh, wasn't probably fun for the other team. Let's just say that much. Oh, I'm going to get freaking shot at. Oh, no. No. Get him. Oh, I'm so weak. I was not freaking fighting that crap. Uh, do we deny the heavy? Oh, put up a wall. Do not have an aid. Do not have an aid. Do okay, he has an aid. Does that destroy my wall? I don't think so. Hey, bro, you want to copy? <laughs> you think I care that I might die? I didn't even die. What is the... What? Okay, your teammate just absolutely sold you down a freaking swatty river, bro. Oh, that went just ligma balls. Oh, ligma. Got me with the ligma, the disease it is. Freaking Felwinters. You can see that people are going to default to Felwinters. And of course, Felwinters is good. And obviously, um, it is in the same slot. So it's not like you have to give up something for Felwinters. That's why the practice is, is still doing well. Oh, no, no, no. You don't get away from me, bro. But Felwinters is still going to be going. Don't get me wrong. I am not sitting here going, oh, we got the new Felwinters killer because oh, freaking, freaking Jotun. But the Felwind is still, still gonna wreck some booty. I mean, it's still a freaking king in of its own right. So, realistically, if you got Felwind, you can still use it. But, oh, this guy is running scared. You running scared, bro. But you can see that this thing still does good damage and everything. I wouldn't say it's as consistent. Obviously, precision frames never really are. Oh, come on, bro. Oh, get him! <laughs> But yeah, the Matador, even if you got like an opening shot roll and stuff like that, it's still going to be pretty sweet and stuff like that. How is he not just freaking straight up dead? I don't know. I did like no damage. But it's Matador, it's just beautiful. It's just a good, solid, legendary precision frame. It has more range as well than the Fell Winters. It's just obviously, when it comes to one tapping, oh, I changed my freaking weapon. I, I suck Donkey Dong. Man, that guy sucks too. We both suck, bro. Hey, party up in here. I don't have a well. I am such a noob. This is legit. Everyone comes to my channel. It's like, oh, it could be good gameplay. No, sir. Just ass gameplay at the best of times. And that's why it works against supers and stuff, but generally against uh, normal pleb players. It won't really work that much. And oh my god, I nearly died. Oh, we better we better just start insta punching again. That's why I went on the bottom three though, because you do get that insta heal on melee kills. So when you're using this sort of weapon, it actually works out really well. So if you do not, you get a heal. We do marches too. Even though they got nerfed, they still goaded. So we still use them and everything like that. And this guy's running. Where are you running, bro? Where are you running? Why are you running? Oh my. I, I killed him, boys. I got him. I got some. Oh, no. Die. No. Kill him. He's one HP, Batman. He got away. He would kill the Batman. Do it. I know the Joker can only do it, but someone please be my Joker to my Batman and kill that guy. Come on. 
You know what? I'm actually kind of sad I lost that fight because he was legit not even looking at me and I still managed to freaking just shoot him for like 20 damage and then waste the last shot. Oh, let's triple that this guy. See you later, guy, wherever you are. You got wrecked. Uh, we actually have a fist half. I didn't even get the super in the last game. That's how fast that stupid game was. But there should be a dude right underneath me, right? Where you at, bro? Where you at? Bro? <laughs> what the? Oh, game. You screw me again with another freaking missed melee. I'm going to... Oh, my God. And then the burn actually doesn't give me the heal. Game, if I could just, you know, not get screwed over by a melee, Don't like a missed melee not. like that, that would be great. I'm a freaking matador. The melee is my freaking horns, and you're just taking the freaking thing away from me. Of course, you might be like, oh, why didn't you just one-shot the matador? Okay, I'm trying my best, boys. I'm trying my freaking best. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Triple, baby. Oh, they all just lined up like freaking thrall for me. Ooh, baby, where are we going? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, am I gonna get a freaking like seven column after this? Oh no, I'm not. I'm freaking dead. I did not even notice how long my super was. Oh man, it feels good to be on a Titan again. I've played Warlock for so freaking long. It feels good just to be back on, you know, the old Titan race, you know? Just absolutely beaming some people. That guy's challenging the well. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why is he so chaotic? I wanted to get the melee kill. That guy... Oh, yeah, that happens. I was going to say, that guy just nailed out of a freaking thing. Oh! Cool spawn. Cool. I do really got to admit, though, this Matador 64, this thing actually feels super freaking nice. Of course, you're not going to be absolute mapping at Velwinters. I think Velwinters is a lot more consistent for the old one-taps and stuff like that. Hey, Ligma, do you want to just freaking die for me? Oh, Ligma balls. No, Ligma balls. Get one. Thank you, Ligma. Freaking this turns around. But it does feel really, really nice. As I said, the Velwinters might one-shot a bit more consistent, but this definitely has a ton more range. And you always... The way I see precision frames, generally speaking, is that you're pretty much guaranteed if you do hit them, they hit half HP. That's like... They basically always get half HP. Guaranteed. And that's why it's really sweet. Because if you are running a class like this, you can just basically instant melee afterwards and get a free kill. So, okay, we absolutely just wrecked him. But if you do get the shot in and everything, you just melee like straight after and kill them. And of course, Felwin, as I said, it's still ridiculous. Like that guy just one shot two people in a row. You can get the same precision frames. I'm not saying you can't. But Felwin is, is just that ridiculous that it gets away with that sort of nonsense. Especially with his freak setups. And hey, bro, can you just not freaking try full run on my ass? Oh, hey, hey. Get away from here. Okay, now we're going to shoot that. Oh, Ooh, baby, we got him. I didn't... I'm legit in his face. And I... Oh, my... I think I got... I, I think I got a one-shot melee. Did I have... I think I have... Every time I kill them, I think I, I have to think proc their freaking one-two punch. I really think it's just I have too many perks up. Or, like, the knockout and everything that it just doesn't tell me. Sometimes I just one-tap the dude. Dude, bruh. Don't be lost. Bruh. Where's this guy going? Hey, hey, bro. Bro, come back. He's going to hear it with your shotgun. Oh, no, you don't. You do not get away from me, right? You do not get away with that, right? Oh, no. Oh, baby. We got another. Okay, next in the freaking door. Come on. Next in. Contestant number four. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? There's contestant number four. Where's contestant number five? Come here. Come here, bro. Oh. Oh. Get him. <laughs> we got him. Oh, where he's at, boys? Where's my, where's my reload? What? I've got knockout on. I did not have my melee up. Oh, you know what? Screw it. We got a freaking Dom Blade. Oh, that was a one two punch, by the way, as well. Oh, yes. Did I just spawn? Oh, I was going to say, if I spawned a Winter Horde, I was going to be pissed. And there's a guy with the Forerunner. No, sir. You dead, bruh. But you can see that this weapon, oh, it's a sweet piece of Matador. I, said. I would say that, generally speaking, to get this guy out. You die, bro. I would say, generally speaking, though, the um, Fell Winters the is a lot more consistent just for the one tap, but that doesn't mean his Matador isn't a beast. With Perpetual Motion, it's just, it's so good when you're running around. 39 opponents feed at 2.29. It's still nutty. Rolls-wise, it can be really sweet. Nah, I haven't even tried it in PvE, but I know it's gonna be freaking nuts. All right, all right, all right. Time for the PvE side of things. This is uh, the Matador gonna be in PvE. We're gonna do the Darius of Eternity because it is the new playlist and stuff, and I need my completions too. But also because this is where you can actually do, uh, do work, because even with the virtual and everything and the one two points this is where it's gonna actually be a lot freaking better so i can actually get the one two punch probably going a lot more consistent especially against big ass bars all right here go oh there's what we want to see we want to see it up against the freaking barrier so let's get the one two punch going and everything you can see that oh my god if i could get oh i'm so dead if but there is the one two punch there look at that we got it going boys we got it come on bro drop your shield there's the one two punch look at that we can get it going so you can see the one two punch it's it's a naughty perk pve it's one of the best perks for a shotgun i think obviously you can get swashbuck if you really want to get that damage up and there is obviously trench powered other weapons but generally speaking man one two punch it's just a dream of a freaking perk that would be great okay bruh just freaking get punched 
There we go. Finally hitting it. And there we go. The damage. You can see it takes stuff out so freaking fast. Of course, you could use uh, other perks. You could probably just beam them with the shoddy. But the fact that it increased your melee damage by so much is honestly just freaking nuts. Uh, I need to try to set this guy. Take my little laser beam. I actually seen someone put up a great uh, Twitter saying that this is the Star Horse's P. And I'm all for it. That's the lore they want to go with. I'll, I'll take it. All right, here's a witch anyway. So try one tap this thing. So there's the one two punch. You can see 15,000 damage. You can go back out for a sec, bro. There we go. And the thing is, you can spec into um, more perks with one two punch. I'm not going even that deep. You can get elemental wells that will increase your damage. But you can go on a hunter with the liar's handshake, and you will do some juicy damage with that. There's so much you can do with shotguns that can roll one two. I just think it's really nice compared to like obviously fell is is cool, but it can't roll with it. Fractius. I don't even think Fractius uh, can roll with the one two punch either. So. Generally speaking, this is going to be really, really good depending on uh, what strikes you're running, if it's an arc burn as well. All right, boys, we all got our rockets ready. Right, this is a six man thing. Get me. Oh my God, he missed. Give me the pack hunter. Hey, wait, 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 what? Immune phase? Hey, do we not get the damage first? What is this crap? What? Okay, boys, kill them all. Get us a. Oh, we're chalk, boys. We're chalk. We all miscalculated. I shot a rocket already. We're, we're, we're off the scene. We just completely messed it up. Oh, there we go. Give me the pack hunter. I want to have a fake gala horn. There we go. Look at it go. We have fake gally. Oh, well, that was kind of fast. We just annihilated that boss. Okay, I didn't get to use the one-two punch, but we're going to guess, boys. What do you think it's going to be? I know this is a YouTube video, so it's not like it's live or anything, but uh, I guess hive, boys. We want hive, and we're going to get the extra freaking party, whatever it is. The freaking thing that gives you extra time. Let's do it. Hive, hive. Give me hive, give me hive, give me hive. I'm rocking for it. Oh, it's hive, baby. You know it. I know it. We all know it, boys. We are always right. It's freaking hive. All right, I need these sword bearers to come over to me because I need to kill them so I can get this stupid thing. I don't want to go for that when he's full health. You want to go for this one because then we get the one-two punch going and then we get the damage going. You can see it is going to be really sweet with the one-two punch. Like, this is, these are no slouches. Like, I'll shoot a rocket at one of these guys. These take a lot of freaking hits. Like, it takes two rockets to kill this dude. And I can do it in probably two or three shots of a shotgun with a punch. That's some really, really sweet damage. Of course, I have to start the freaking, what's it called? Gally Warren thing you on that one. Don't worry, boys. I've got him down. Beat him up. Beat Crowd up. Beat him up. But I will say, definitely, this, uh, the old uh, Matador 64 PVE. It is sweet with the 1-2 punch. As I said, that's the reason I want to do a PVE. It's definitely worth taking for a spin if you get a good roll. As I said, it's from the 30th anniversary, but it can absolutely slay out with the right freaking roll. Well, that is it for me and the Matador 64, guys. You can see PvP is probably where people are going to use this a lot more because, as I said, shotguns are in a weird place right now in PvE. Not that bad, not too good either, especially with particle deconstruction. But generally speaking, the Matador 64, PvE was actually really nice to say. This one-two punch is just really dope. You can probably get better rolls as well for PvE in terms of, like, full auto, lead from gold. If you really want to, instead of the perpetual motion because you don't really need this in PvE. But generally speaking, the one-two punch... Oh, it's beautiful. Or the Golden Tricorn if you want to spec into one of those builds as well. So you can get the melee kills, your arc, get the damage in, get the extra damage, whatever. But the Matador 64 PvP, it was it was a dream, boys. It's literally like it was back in the old day of D1. It can wreck people. But regardless, if you like the video, show us a like. And if you want to see more content, subscribe. Fantastic day. And hopefully, I'll see you the next collective in the next one.